हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड डे एंड गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस टूडेज लेक्चर ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज इन इंग्लिश एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द बेसिक्स वेरी बेसिक्स ऑफ भिगुनंदी नाडी कॉन्सेप्ट सो टिल नाउ आई मेड इट द वीडियो इन हिंदी मोस्टली दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज basics and the start of the bhrugunedi nadi how it differs from the uh, vedic astrology so in bhrugunedi nadi actually the concept of directions are there means uh, if you say that uh, north side north south east west means the horoscope is uh, divided in you may say the as per directions it is there this trikon concept is there means 159 so if you see for example let's see the horoscope of amitabh bachchan uh, the horoscope of amitabh bachchan you may say this is the rising sign is uh, aquarius okay so this is the first house and if you see the trikon this is 11 3 7 we take the combinations of trikon in bhrugunandini nadi not and there is no concept of ascendant Like Vedic astrology, we see just if you see that this is the Aquarius ascendant, Kumbh Kumbh lagna. In this Amitabh Bachchan's horoscope, we are discussing if we consider this ascendant in Vedic astrology, but in Bhrugunandi Nadi, we do not consider as ascendant. There is no concept of ascendant in the Bhrugunandi Nadi. So here we take the planets uh, residing in the signs as per direction. So what is the first direction? Is east. We consider this is the eleven. Three seven. This is considered. This is considered as the consider. Uh, the rising sign is east. So eleven three seven is one trigon, and two uh, six ten is another trigon. This is twelve in here. Twelve four eight. Say and three. This is calm trigon. Three seven eleven in this one five nine, and four eight twelve. So all these trigons are uh, they are considered. But to sum up. <coughs> Means, if you say as per the Kalpurush Kundli, if you visualize the Kalpurush Kundli, then one five nine is the east sign, is considered the Agni Kund. You may say one five nine is considered one Trikond. Then two six ten, that is the south direction, is second Trikond. Three sil three seven eleven as per direction is west. Four eight twelve is the north. So now, if you can understand here, so what are the signs coming? As per the directions, this is the north. The signs are ca Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is four, eight, twelve. This is one three cone. This all are considered as in the north direction. And the east, that is that is the fiery sign. You, you can see here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is the fiery sign. And west, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the west sign in the west of west direction. Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn. This is the south. So now here the directions of signs you can see here: Aries, East, South, Taurus, West, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. This is this is the basics of the. Uh, this is the consider. Uh, is the main concept in the Nadi astrology because now in Nadi astrology very much significance is given to the houses one five nine because the starting of the sign. It is a starting from the. Aries, which is the east sign, and the fifth of it is the east sign, and the east fifth of that is the ninth sign. So one five nine, uh, in that way you can uh, consider as the combinations of the trigon. So if we again go to this chart, you can see the chart here in this <coughs> combinations. And second concept of the Brigunendi Nadi is concept is that they go for there is no con uh, concept of Like in Vedic astrology, there is the Vimshotri Dasha. Here is there is no concept. They consider the progression of the planet means the rotation of the planet sequence wise. That is a very advanced Nadi astrology. But in the here there is no concept of this uh, like Vimshotri Dasha concept here. So and third is the in Brigandini Nadi they go directly as the Karkas for they consider the Karkas of the thing going to happen. and the planets and their karkas for example sun they consider the karkas 
of son is karka of father son eminent person means soul right eye sort of the status like that like moon they go for mind mother mother in law and cold cough water like that and mars they go for power eco enemies electricity and mercury is main karka of knowledge education so if we want to see uh, what education or what degree which side the person is under is study we have to consider for the mercury so here if you see and uh, likewise in some of the uh, uh, some in some there are two concept of considering the netu jivatma in the brigrin nadi some uh, scholars consider it as jupiter they see the person as a jupiter as a lag is considering the jivatma and some consider the mars so J jupiter is is the jivatma there is native in a male horoscope and venus is in the female horoscope okay so venus is venus is also the karkas of in law in law wealth and elder sister wife there is female as a, a native in a female horoscope saturn is the main karka of profession so if any if we want to see the profession you can directly see the saturn and the planets correlating with the saturn like that and rahu is the karka of you may say sort of illusion maya it uh, rahu magnifies the thing and ketu is the karka of you may say is it diminishes the thing hairs monk holy spiritualism a sort of liberation thread wire like that so if you see in the horoscope of amitabh bachchan you may say that uh, if you see saturn is in the fourth house saturn definitely in the profession we have to see the saturn where it, it is sitting saturn is sitting in the sign of venus venus is the represents the media the uh, bollywood you may say venus is the shukra is represent the media industry definitely rahu is also joins with it so but venus is the main karka of the media publicity fashion the luxury like that you say so saturn is in the venus uh, sign and it is the the venus itself is sitting in the 8th house so so saturn is 4812 so the trigon will be 26 then here so saturn plus you may see the mars mercury sun and venus so saturn and venus are directly linked so this house saturn is definitely for making a star the combination of venus and giving the publicity to the sun and def definitely the mercury amitabh bachchan was in business also so you may see that uh, uh, these things are making relation with the saturn so saturn and mars you may say saturn mars mercury sun and venus you know, directly or indirectly definitely amitabh bachchan uh, uh, amitabh bachchan ji's profession is correlated with this thing because if you see mars mars is uh, represent here the third house third is also a communication amitabh bachchan he initially works in the communication media also so like that you can correlate the things and eighth house the mars here is honor of the third house communication and the profession status and the mars itself is sitting is 11th from its own house so you may see that how the things are related and um, may and made the uh, amitabh bachchan's status a very very big superstar so this is a in short introduction about a brigand nadi concept you may see the relation like that this is saturn plus these three trigons 2 6 10 like that k2 and moon so k2 plus moon is also a relation moon plus k2 here you send 11 3 7 means the relation of moon plus k2 is there and uh, so like that you see the jupiter jupiter itself is exalted in the uh, cancer sign and uh, the moon the uh, moon the jupiter the dispositor moon is sitting in the house of venus so ultimately the mind what is moon moon is the mind and the intention of the person is sitting in this house venus so venus uh, ultimately the, all the things are correlating with the venus and venus and uh, definitely venus is sitting in a friendly sign so you may see like that the things uh, which to rate the person so this is in short of introduction of brigandini nadi if you like the video and so uh, it's will good for me and please subscribe and share the video if i get a good response definitely i have made the
further videos also. So Brigunendra Nadi is very a simple astrology and very direct. It is is having a direct relation and a very clear crystal clear prediction are there in the this sign and definitely and other things are also considered in this Brigunendra Nadi. The exchange of signs. There is a planet sitting in the suppose Mercury is sitting here. You can identify which sign. You may see the uh, suppose Mercury and Venus here. Yes. Suppose Venus sits in the second. Uh, Mercury sits in the Venus sign. Two numbers. Second, whether it is fourth or this second, second sign. So then it will be the. It is also considered the exchange of planet is also considered in the Brigunendi Nadi. So the important principle of Nadi Brigunendi Nadi astrology is based on the directional aspect. That is all posited sitting in the zodiacal signs. Uh, which which are representing the same direction? They are taken to be in conjunction to one another. Means in this Saturn is in conjunction with this Mars, Mercury, Sun, and Venus. You may see. So you you can also see that um, Amitabh Bachchan ji is not only in Bollywood industry; he is also a very big investor. He is he is invested in cryptocurrency. He is invested. He is already invested in the company like that. And all the things or the relation which are happening is eighth house. So he is also. You witness sudden fall. Eighth house is also uh, a sort of a house of sud happening sudden things, and uh, it's make a person more interest in the occultism and religion, spiritualism also. So you may see that uh, uh, many sudden things are also happens in Amitabh Bachchan life. He had or everybody know about his life journey and all. So overall, the Kundli is very very much powerful because Ketu is also in a very powerful position. Ketu is a height. Ketu, what 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 Ketu indicates? The if you go for the character of Ketu, it represents the height. Dhoja, Dhoja means uh, the height where you want to go. Means so Amitabh Bachchan itself. When you see, whenever you see Ketu in first house, you may see as per Vedic, if you consider or uh, for the timing, you may see the person is his height is very good. So Amitabh Bachchan is very tall of height. So like that, and it indicates the Ketu is sit, sitting in the sign of Saturn. So you say Saturn, very Saturn sitting. Saturn is in the Kendra bhav. That is as per Vedic. But Saturn is making relation with all these planets. So indirectly or directly, fame is given by Ketu. So Ketu is a very powerful planet here. Though anywhere you see that Ketu is not good, but it is not that Ketu is a planet of positive things. So in this way, you can analyze the thing, analyze a person's horoscope in a very simple way, like that, and uh, definitely uh, it will help in more production, and you can guide yourself and other person also. So thank you very much.